Back here watching the money show with Nikhil Vidya Thapriyal. There are a lot of funds available in the market to invest your hard-earned money in. But how do you assess which is the right fund for your portfolio? What are the criteria that one should look at to help you navigate through this maze? Uh, today we have Himanshu Sigi, Vice Investor, Private Limited. Also, do not forget to send us your portfolio queries on our WhatsApp number, which is eight six five seven nine seven four five seven one. You can also email us your queries on the Money Show at etnow dot tv. Uh, good evening, Himanshu, and welcome to the show. Uh, we have our first viewer on the phone line. Uh, hi, uh, Venkat. From Hyderabad. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Fine, doing good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for sending us your question. Uh, all right. So you want to uh, decide as to what kind of category should be given, what kind of exposure in the portfolio? No, that is not the question. What I asked for actually, I ha I had one of your program where you were asking you know, like uh, there is an allocation of each fund, but uh, however, like a multi cap. Hmm. In which already mid cap is there and small cap is there. So when we decide on the overall portfolio, do we need to count those inherent uh, allocation of these multiple multiple examples? Small cap, we have to count that also when we decide on that overall portfolio or not? Or we need to count only like small cap fund okay. separately, mid cap fund separately, because multi cap is having all. Na? That is the doubt mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Himan, how would you look at this question? Well, Kavita, I think Venkat has asked a very, very important question. We all know that you know equity plays an important role in, in, in any long-term investor's portfolio because that's only asset class uh, that can help you beat inflation. But considering the fact that equity is an aggressive asset class, it's very, very important to keep an eye on what kind of allocation you have uh, for different market segments. That's large cap, mid cap, and small cap. Uh, obviously, uh, the key is how much you allocate in the beginning. And how much you allow it to deviate over a period of time? For example, the allocation for five to ten years horizon will be different compared to someone who is investing over ten, twenty years. Uh, how do you keep a track of uh, you know exposure to different market segments? As we have asked, look, there are certain funds which are investing in a particular segment. Okay, which could be a pure large cap fund, pure mid cap fund, or pure small cap fund. Uh, then there are different categories like flexi cap, large and mid, multi cap. Now in multi cap, we know that minimum exposure to each asset class has to be 25 percent. So if I were to look at as an investor as to how much exposure I have and how do I keep track of that, I need to look it across the portfolio. Now, for example, if I'm investing in a small cap fund, a small cap doesn't mean that it will be 90, 100 percent small cap. You will invariably see that some of the small cap funds are also investing 10 to 15 percent in large cap and mid cap. Similarly, a flexi cap, while there is the flexibility to the fund manager to decide uh, how much he wants to allocate to different market segments, invariably you will find that there is a strong bias towards the large cap. So you need to look at all funds put together uh, because that can make a significant difference. For example, if you're looking at only fund which is investing in a segment and you leave out others, you will see a significant uh, variation. And it's very easy to get this information. It's available on the fax side of, uh, fax sheets of the, of the mutual funds. Uh, you can look at the mutual fund website. There are platforms uh, where this information is available. Uh, so I think it's important to look at across it. If you're actually, uh, you know, kind of uh, using a particular site for uh, portfolio updation, uh, the moment you uh, upload all the details of your portfolio, you will actually get to know how much allocation is there for each segment. So now you have to look at all funds across the portfolio to get a fix on how much exposure is there for different market segments. All right, Venkat, is there anything you want to ask him? Defense my issue actually. Thank you very much for addressing this. All the best. We move on. Uh, second question is uh, again from uh, Hyderabad, uh, Padmavati. Uh, do I have Padmavati on the phone line? Okay, we move on, but we have a question. Um, so she's investing in Kanurabeko Emerging Equity. She has Parakpali Flexi Cap, Access Mid Cap, uh, uh, SPI Blue Chip, ICICI Approved Blue Chip, DSP Equity Opportunities, Kotak Emerging Equities, and she's been investing since last five years. And uh, she wants to know if she can continue her investment in these funds, and uh, in case any changes are needed, what would that be? Well, coming to the time horizon is, uh, I think, overall 10 years. Five years is already completed. She has another five years to go. So I think investing in equity fund is uh, certainly a, a good idea. 
but there are seven funds for 14,000. So I believe that there is a scope to consolidate the portfolio, which means reduce the number of funds, but ensure that there is a proper allocation to different market segments. So uh, some of the funds can be retained, some of the funds maybe she can consider, uh, you know, stopping SIP there. So in, in pre-existing fund, uh, maybe she can reallocate the amount. For example, you have Parag Parag Flexi Cap, she can allocate 4,000 there. Then uh, Kotak Emerging uh, allocation can be 4,000. Uh, ICSC Blue Chip allocation can be 3,000. And I would recommend adding one large and mid cap fund, which is SDFC large and mid cap, uh, and, and investing 3,000 in that. So in all, four funds, three existing funds, but the reallocation of amount, and one new fund, SDFC large and mid cap, with 3,000 allocation. All right, we move on. Let's take <coughs> Lokesh Raja's question. And uh, he is doing SIPs in five funds, 2,000 each. Access Blue Chip, Access Small Cap, Kotak Emerging Equity, Parapar Exexi Cap, HDFC Small Cap. Uh, it's almost 50,000 per month. And for 10 years, he wants to invest. Uh, the aim is to uh, accumulate corpus of 10 crores with this portfolio. <laughs> Uh, get to the target within this time horizon. So I think broadly uh, the expected corpus would be uh, around 1 crore 20 lakhs. So clearly if, if uh, he wants to achieve the target, he has to actually increase his uh, SIP to almost 8 lakh per month. Uh, so I think there's a big gap in how much he's investing and how much he wants to achieve through this investment. A uh, couple of changes in the portfolio I think will, will be better for his portfolio. Uh, there are two small cap funds, so my recommendation would be to retain one small cap, which is HFC small cap, and the other uh, one is excess small cap. Maybe you can consider looking at one multi cap fund, which could be uh, Nepal multi cap. And then there is also uh, excess uh, blue chip, uh, and there is also uh, you know Parag Parag flexi cap. So you know my belief is that the money which is being invested in the blue chip fund can also be. Uh, reallocated to uh, uh, flexi cap fund. I think that bring out the better balance and there is better flexibility in terms of rebalancing allocation to different markets. And so I think a couple of changes in the portfolio. And as I said, there is a gap in how much he will be able to accumulate and how much he wants to accumulate. One, Arun from Mumbai is on the phone line. Hi, good evening, Arun. How are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, you can tell us your uh, fund uh, details. Yeah, sure. So, uh, uh, so I have uh, uh, five SIP that I do. Uh, all, all of them four, five into growth uh, type. One is excess blue chip fund, excess uh, mid cap fund. I uh, can have Rebecca emerging uh, equities, uh, emerging equities fund. Is very small cap fund and Nippon India. So Nippon India, I am doing uh, three thousand per month as SIP. In the rest, other four, I am doing five thousand per month as SIP. So I am looking at a corpus of uh, around three to four crores uh, in next uh, maybe fifteen years or so. Uh, so is the, uh, alignment, alignment in line. How long are you investing? So I have been investing for around uh, five years now. Okay, and you've been increasing your SIP amount or uh, it's the same? Uh, not yet. I'm not, not yet. I have not yet done. I, I know it is deep, I think. Oh, so in five years you have not increased your SIP amount? No, not yet. Okay, yes, not okay, yet. okay. okay. Alright, so let's figure out if you can achieve uh, the corpus of three to four crores via this portfolio, but uh, you might have to increase your investment amount because your time duration is almost 15 years, it seems. Uh, Heyman, what do you recommend? Well, I think two important things. One, uh, he's been investing for the last five years. Obviously, he's accumulated some corpus. Another around 15, 16 years to go. Uh, so my thing is that I think uh, in terms of calculation, he should be able to achieve the target of around 3 crore. Uh, since he mentioned 3 to 4 crores, if he's looking to accumulate a corpus of 4 crore, maybe then he needs to kind of add another uh, uh, 7,000 rupees to his SIP. So it should be around uh, 30,000. And one simple way to do that is also to step up your SIP every year. Uh, if you can do that by 10%, actually you can then accumulate a much larger corpus. Uh, a couple of changes, I believe, uh, because as I mentioned in, in, in while answering the earlier query, that it's important to uh, you know invest in a manner that there is more flexibility in terms of rebalancing allocation to different market segments. Uh, 
uh, by the fund manager rather than you trying to replicate what the fund manager does. So a uh, couple of changes I would recommend here. Uh, there is uh, excess blue chip, excess mid cap, and Canada Rebecca emerging where it's investing 5,000 each. Uh, you know, my recommendation would be to stop these three SIP and uh, then look at SDFC large and mid cap at 7,000 and Kotak multi cap at 8,000. Uh, so two funds in place of three, but uh, different categories, uh, which will give you the flexibility and maybe better performance over a longer period. All right, Arun, is there anything uh, else you want to ask? No, thank you very much for uh, guiding us. Thank you. All thank you. We move on. Uh, Lakshmanan from Bangalore, and uh, he's been investing in Access Long Term Equity since 2014, and he wants to know if he can switch uh, from this fund to Access Long Time Savings. Well, Kavita, I'm not too sure whether the name that he has yeah. mentioned where he wants to switch in is, is the correct name. Mm. Uh, but uh, as far as the access, uh, long-term equity is concerned, it's an ELSS fund. Uh, it hasn't been doing uh, well over the last couple of years. So definitely, if he has completed his uh, mandatory lock-in period, uh, he can definitely consider uh, you know switching that money elsewhere. Uh, so if the time horizon allows him to remain in an equity, uh, maybe... Uh, uh, you know, he can look at excess growth opportunity fund. Maybe that's better option. Maybe it's a large and mid cap fund, and also investing some amount in uh, uh, U.S. markets uh, so within excess. But if he already has a couple of other funds in the portfolio, which which are uh, good quality funds, maybe then he can move that money to some other fund. But the name that he has mentioned, it doesn't seem to be the correct name. All right, we move on. We have Rahul Sharma on the phone line with us from Chennai. Rahul, good evening. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Thank you so much. Uh, so you have started investing in Nippon Small Cap, HDFC Multi Cap. Uh, you have Access Small Cap, SBI Contra, ICICI Proof Small Cap, and you want to generate two crores in 15 years. Uh, three crores. Three crores after 15 years. Three crores. Okay. Are you willing to increase your SIP amount? Yes, yes. Sir. And you've been investing since how long? Actually, uh, one, uh, one, one, one year before. All right, and uh, okay. And you, who recommended these funds to you? Uh, it's on my bill only. Okay, this is a slightly very aggressive portfolio. Looking at the kind of market cap you have uh, uh, in your portfolio, but uh, we sort this out for you. Uh, uh, Eman, do you think there's uh, there's a lot of risk involved in the kind of placements he's done? Yes, I mean, uh, good thing is that he's investing for the long term, so he has uh, time on hand. But I think the composition is equally important. We did uh, discuss that earlier. Uh, but here, I think almost twenty thousand rupees is being invested in the in the in the, in the small cap funds, which I think is is very very aggressive. But good thing is that he has some good quality funds in his portfolio. Uh, first, let me just mention about his target. Uh, with the current investment, he should be able to get around one and a half crore. Uh, if his target is let's say two crore, then maybe he needs to add nine thousand. But if it is uh, 3 crore, obviously, then the right thing would be maybe if he can do step up SIP maybe by 10%, he should be able to get there. So that's as far as the target is concerned. On the fund size, I think uh, on the fund side, there are three funds which he can retain in the existing fund, but maybe we allocate the amount. Uh, Dipon small cap, uh, take uh, 8,000 instead of 5. STFC multi cap, again, 8 instead of 5. And SPI contra, 8 in, in, instead of which is being invested now. So this will be 24,000 and the remaining 6,000 he can add one large and mid cap which could be uh, Modula as well large and mid cap where he can invest 6,000. So four funds uh, for his current investment. Uh, like I mentioned, I think there are, these are good funds but he just need to reallocate them more to get better results. All right, Rahul, anything uh, else you want to <laughs> add? Uh, that's all man, thank you so much. All the best. Last question of the day, uh, Himan, we have K. Dheerat's question via email and uh, three crores in 20 years, Kotak equity opportunities, ICICI Brew, large and mid cap, uh, Nippon multi cap, Mira asset, arch cap, Kotak flexi cap and SBI blue chip. Well, I think as for the target is concerned, uh, the time is around 20 years, uh, SAP is 14,000, but I don't think he will get to the target there. For getting there, he needs to increase the SAP to 30,000. With the current SIP, you can expect a corpus of around 1.4 crore. So there is definitely a gap and he should try to increase the amount as early as, as possible, as soon as possible, so that there is sufficient time for the corpus to grow to the level that he wants it to be. A uh, couple of changes again, I think uh, 
keeping the flexibility in mind which I mentioned earlier. Whether it's at large cap, it's the blue chip, where it's investing 3,000 and 4,000 respectively. This 7,000 can be reallocated to the existing fund. Uh, for example, uh, 2,000 can be reallocated to uh, equity opportunity, 2,000 to ICFC large and mid, and 3,000 to Nikon multi cap. This is how the 7,000, if we decide to stop this 2 SIP, can be reallocated to, to the existing fund again. Uh, like I said earlier, it will be easier to get the uh, allocation rebalance, and I think there will be a potential to get better at all over the longer period. I think that will be all. Thank you so much, Shaman, for being on the show today and helping our viewers with their financial portfolio queries. And uh, thank you, sign off. But I'm going to leave you with our WhatsApp number and email ID where you can send us your uh, portfolio related queries, uh, WhatsApp your questions, or you can also email us your queries. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.